first heard the term sidebar when I was negotiating the multi-billion dollar TV theatrical contract when I was an officer with SAG-AFTRA. And the sidebar is a sidebar conference in a court of law, a discussion between the lawyers and the judge held out of earshot of the jury. And um, in the spring of 2020 is when Michael told Archangel Michael, I, whom I work with in my, my psychic work, told me that I was going to be doing these readings for you guys here on YouTube. And now is the time. So these sidebars are these little conferences, short little tidbits of information pertaining to a situation going on in your life right now that's going to be my psychic channelings for all the 12 signs. And then we get a little bit of tarot on it. And it's just a little bit of a little bit of discussion held out of earshot of the people in your life that this pertains to, to give you a little bit more information um, as, as it's guided. So enjoy. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your intimate one-on-one -on -one sidebar. Just you and I, our own little mini conference for this week ahead. This is one little psychic detail, psychic intel of something that's got a bigger context to it. And my dear, when I'm tuning into your energy, it's very interesting because everyone else came in crystal clear and your energy came in with this like whirlwind where I was feeling sort of like dizzy, not nauseous, but just, just moved <laughs> energy moving in this, you know, like a little whirl and um, very clearly redo redo, R-E-D-U-X, revived. There's something being revived. There's something coming back around. There's something having a second look, having a second go. And it does feel energetic. I'm not sure that this is an actual, I don't know if it's the same thing, the same person coming back necessarily. It could be that opportunity coming in a different form or that love or that person or that whatever whatever this is this could be coming up this week you could already feel it stirring or feel a familiarity in something and remember this can be even be this could even be frustration this could even be something that it's like oh my god i have to deal with this again it could even be something like i'm not feeling anything like that i'm just saying that it could be but let's Let's go ahead and get some tarot guidance for you. Let's see what else, um, what other energy work we can do here with the guidance of the tarot in the time that we have together. Okay, Virgs, little Virgs, Virgo sun, Virgo moon, and Virgo rising. Virgo rising. Okay, that was the last one. Hmm. So you're taking something more seriously now. This is so funny. Oh, that's you. That's your card. Um, two other signs got this, and I think it was like the last two. Um, three of Pentacles. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And the very handsome Knight of Cups. That is my Romeo card. And this hermit energy, there you are. So you have to do, or you've been doing, or you already did in the past. I feel like this is kind of like this week, this kind of a dark night of the soul where you've got to go back and reassess yourself, clean your own side of the street and do your own energy work and get to the root cause of some way that you're thinking, some way that you're communicating, some way that you are, sorry, my mic broke today very mercury retrograde and so this is a temporary fix go back and see see what you could have done differently what you you know just be really honest with yourself and you don't have to like admit this to anyone not me or anybody else just within you you and you you and god you and cosmos you and your deity whatever that is but you and you you and yourself this hermit energy and you will find that light you will find that little star of enlightenment and you will be able to use that to guide you to guide you moving forward because i am seeing something coming in for you it could be a job offer it could be even just a compliment there's something about getting to do what you really good at what you are really good at doing 
Now, for some of you, it is a little bit more financial and skill oriented. For some of you, I am getting that it is working with someone you love, working for um, a bigger cause where both of you are planning bigger, pl make, making bigger plans together. With this three of pentacles, it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. You take care of that and then we can buy a house or and then we can start a business or and then we can move here or you know it's like that and it's very very sincere you may have those conversations this week and you know you may be like i don't know if it's triggered or if it's just reminiscing bringing something up from the past that you that you really got to take a look at in yourself in yourself and you know if this was like lost to you if you thought that it was gone forever Sunday for some of you, October 25th, I believe. Uh, it's when the sun moves over Mercury retrograde and Scorpio things coming to light. Oh yeah, I am getting like that again. So keep all of that in mind. This is going to be a big week for you, Virgo. You've got to do this first. You've got to do this, you know, and not to be critical on yourself, not to make yourself feel bad. That is not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Don't feel good because you're making yourself feel bad and you think that that's soul work or that's growing. No, 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 no. That is not what we do over on Watch Natalie and the Artigan. Oh, if you guys like this energy work that we do here with moi, I do more of that on the Patreon, patreon.com dot com dot com slash the artigan i do weeklies monthlies i do classes <laughs> i do really fun classes so as you are guided at, in divine timing as you um are, are able uh, i like to keep it very pure so you know toggle up toggle down hop on hop off i like providing that spiritual resource and you know i i want you to feel like this is something you're really doing for yourself and getting so much out of it and, and these energy readings and these energy healing readings when you're getting these good vibrations. So it's a really beautiful community over there. I, I would love to, to have you in, in divine timing as you're guided in the right time. So um, bookmark me and, you know, come visit, take a look at my tears. But as far as this week ahead goes, Virgos, you've got redo energy coming back to you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And remember, if it's not this week, I'm not the timing psychic. I'm not like, I can't do dates. I can't, you know, it's very rare that that actually comes in where I get dates. Um, so I, I wouldn't necessarily expect this thing to come back around this week. It may be just part of the work that you're doing. Okay. I don't want you to get like disappointed. That's not what we're, that's not what I do here. I elevate people's, you know, energy. That's what this is about. So um, go through this internally and it will come back around in its own divine timing. Okay. So it's going to be energy coming up for you this week and, and in weeks to come. So take care, my beautiful Virgs. If you are looking for a psychic reading, check out that link below to Keen. They are the largest psychic network in the world. So they have really great, um, price points. Check those guys out and I will see you guys next week. Lots of beautiful blessings, my dearies. Mwah!